Hi, I'm Jeff Michael. Here is your CBS On The Go update. Nurses and other Riverside County workers unhappy with contract negotiations went on strike today. They walked off the job just after midnight, and they say they'll picket Riverside University Hospital in Moreno Valley this morning. The employees union says talks broke down over safety issues. The county says it has temporary staffing to cover the strike, but it's also asking a judge to declare their strike illegal. Downtown LA's Angels flight could soon be back in operation, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. The company that runs the tiny railway says one of the rollers was damaged, probably because of the extreme heat we've been having. The attraction had to close over the weekend, and that was just four days after it reopened. And now your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's Garth Kemp. Boy, Angel's flight's nice. It's like the prototype for the bullet train. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Good morning, everybody. Hey, listen for us. A really nice stretch of weather coming away. See this? There's a little area of low pressure. If you're staying with us, we have a high pressure area off to the east. But between the two, it kind of just moderates the temperature. We could get a little monsoonal thunderstorm activity if you're heading out to the deserts or if you're driving maybe out to uh, Palm Springs or out to Vegas. Just a heads up for you. If you go in the heat of the day, that's when you see the opportunity best to drive out earlier. Meanwhile, off to the east we go. Travel will be affected through Florida. You're just going to have to check ahead as airports will start to shut down as they shuffle aircraft out of that area. But a line of thunderstorms from Atlanta in through Raleigh, up through Washington, D.C., and in New York City continues on. Some of this heavy rain will continue to track off to the east. There have been delays earlier on today being reported out towards JFK. So once again, check ahead there. That should be clearing out by tomorrow. But then on the heels of that, we'll start to do what was left of the hurricane uh, being moved through the area. But otherwise, for Southern California, welcome to some calm kind of weather. 88 today. We'll get back to normal through the rest of the week. Uh, 80 at the beaches, 77 to 78 with morning clouds burning off. The valley's 99 today. We'll start to bring things back down a little bit. Now, for the Inland Empire, 97, 95 Thursday. High deserts, 97, 94. If you're going way to the east, you're going to Temecula, maybe some of the wine areas out there. Should be moderate, not super hot. For the mountains, a chance of thunderstorm continues all the way out through the extended no matter where your travels take you have a safe trip especially if you're going to the southeast jeff all right garth thanks the national golf chain wants to tee off on its first southern california location but as cbs 2's joe kwan shows us locals are split on whether or not they like that idea dan Cabrillo hits the driving range here at the lakes at el segundo a few times a week come out here to practice and this is a great place he says if top golf sets up shop at the city-owned golf facility it would be full of stuff golfers don't need we played a game we don't uh, need the extra entertainment the fluff the fluff meaning microchip balls to track your swings and hits 11 targets food and beverage and you have a couple tvs and top golf's tanner mckelly says the driving range would go from two to three levels 34 climate controlled bays on each level. Fancy. I don't know if I'd describe it as, as fancy, but it's a it's a comfortable place to come and have a good time. Some people against the project worry that prices will go up right now. This bucket of balls costs six dollars, but if Top Golf takes over, prices would start at ten dollars, which is what we found to be the market rate. Top Golf charges twenty five to forty dollars an hour to rent a bay. This golfer has been to one of the 30 locations in the US. It's a lot of fun, maybe too much fun for some. It's more of a nighttime you know, party vibe. That golfer says he's undecided. Yes, no. So is El Segundo Councilman Don Brand. He says Top Golf could be good for revenue, but maybe bad for the roads. Traffic and parking are issues that I'm looking at. He says his colleagues are split on the project that's been pending for five years. The final vote is set for October 3rd. At that point, this is enough is enough. I want them to keep it as is. If not, that golfer says he'll practice his swing somewhere else. In El Segundo, Joe Kwan, CBS 2 News. Your CBS On The Go Sports Lakers president of basketball operations, Magic Johnson, is taking responsibility. After the NBA hit the team with a half million dollar tampering fine last week, Johnson told the LA Times he wants his boss, Jeannie Buss, to take the fine out of his paycheck. A league investigation found the Lakers illegally expressed interest in Pacers player Paul George. Wow, out of his paycheck. And that's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Jeff Michael. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. Be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.